hi, what up, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to TMI. You probably noticed the couple weeks gap between my videos being uploaded. That's entirely my fault. Um, <laughs> I was going to, uh, I, okay. So basically what happened was, um, I went on vacation for two weeks on the East Coast. It was so fun. And um, I was going to upload a video before I left, and then I was gonna try and upload while I was on vacation. I was gonna try, which means I'd have to edit also while I was on vacation. But I didn't. <laughs> Honestly, with the places we were staying and with the unreliable Wi-Fi that we had, it probably would not have worked out anyway, so what am, what are you gonna do, right? Like, I felt bad, but there was no way it was gonna happen. And then, after I got back, because if you'll notice, the gap was more three weeks than it was two weeks. In fact, I think it was actually longer than that because I didn't upload before I left. But whatever, I already went over this. I got back and I edited a video and I started uploading it on like Friday. Fast forward to Sunday, it was still uploading to YouTube. I had no idea what the heck was going on. It was, it was, it was, it was very frustrating. I, I was getting really mad. <laughs> and I found out that for some reason it had been saving as an got MOV and so the file was really giant and I, wow, I was like, why? Apparently I was exporting it from my video editing software with like a really high resolution for like pros and I'm like, I didn't select that but whatever. So <laughs> here we are. Okay. Anyway, this video is not for me to make excuses about myself, kind of, but it is about me telling you guys how my trip was. It was so freaking bomb. So I live on the west coast and everything's like beautiful arid desert of no trees and no water and nothing. Unless you live by the ocean. The first thing that I noticed when we got to the east coast was just the trees. There were so many trees. I was like, Whoa! I didn't know so many trees existed in this world. I was literally like, it took me like a good solid like three to five days to get used to the amount of trees that were just everywhere. I was like, trees. I'm gonna talk about trees a lot probably it was just because there's so freaking many on the east coast. We went to a lot of really cool places. Um, I'm gonna see if I can put some pictures. So, uh, pictures, go. show you guys this freaking bombing. I think we actually ended up going to Niagara Falls first, uh, which was absolutely insane. Like, I saw just the American Falls first and I, I was like, wow, this is, what the heck, this is insane, this, all this water is just Because of where I live in the arid desert with no trees and no water, uh, I never see like legit rivers like we have like these little tiny creeks that dry up like every five seconds so to see the river that like fed into like those falls i was like what the fuck this is like what is this it was, it was crazy just like the size of the river itself was already i was like oh my gosh and then 
you see the falls and you're like, oh my god! We ended up actually taking the boat tour to go into um, the Horseshoe Falls area because from the American side, the visitor center is like right next to the American Falls instead of you know, the Horseshoe Falls, which is the cool part. No offense, American Falls. That was absolutely insane. Like, those things do not look like they're real. You know, if you've ever been to the Grand Canyon and you sit on like the edge of the Grand Canyon and you just look out at how freaking giant it is and you're just kind of like, this freaking looks like it's just like a sheet with like a picture of the Grand Canyon plastered over it and behind it is actually just like, it's just the same old, same old. Like, what? <laughs> it's like, you can't exactly wrap your mind around it. And that's the same thing with the horseshoe balls. Like you're standing, you're standing there on this tiny boat with all these other people, looking up at these huge falls, just all around you, and you're just kind of like, ah, <sighs> uh, photoshopped. But anyway, so that was where I got uh, this kind of cool. It's like a little Niagara Falls um, pink top. I wasn't gonna buy anything from there, and I'm usually not for someone who would go into a store and buy like something that says like I Heart New York on it. But um, that was my thigh. <laughs> but um, this one it was kind of nice. It's like kind of a shirt, so they kind of like to wear it. It's also very like soft. Anyway, this is not <laughs> an advertisement for Niagara Falls pink tops. The next place we went to was the Gettysburg Battlefield. So, well, it's not the next place that we went to, but we did go to it. And so I got some cool stuff. They have like this thing there called the Cyclorama, which is like basically a giant circular painting. And like, it's literally like, it lines an entire, the entire walls of this. Does that make sense? And it lines the, all the walls of the room. Yeah, in a circle. I keep doing this. <laughs> they use them like forever ago and they would like light up the back parts of it and like tell a story with that which I thought was so cool. Like, Why have I never heard of this? I got a thing. I bought a documentary <laughs> about the cyclorama at the Gettysburg. Uh, I usually don't buy documentaries and I usually don't watch documentaries because I find them kind of boring. <laughs> I know some people are like weirdly obsessed with like documentaries and they watch them a lot and I'm just like I can't do with that. I can't. But like with stuff like this is pretty cool. And look they have like the on the C D. And then also I got this cute little like plastic mason jar thing with a straw. Because I wanted to <laughs> I was making uh, milk tea on the road <laughs> because I was like I don't need it still and I don't know where to get it in the East Coast. Probably a lot of places. Who knows? I don't know. So I got this cute little thing to so make it. We also went to um, Washington DC, which was like so cool. I love Washington DC so much. There's so much to see there. I feel like you could spend like months there just to like look at all the stuff that's there. If I had to live somewhere else, it would be really cool to live in Washington DC. But anyway, we went to the Washington Monument and because I'm a giant Hamilton nerd, I bought two books uh, that have Alexander Hamilton in them. We also went to uh, the National Gallery of Art because I'm a giant nerd. We saw Leonardo da Vinci painting there and like, oh my gosh! I was like so... I was like standing there for like 10 minutes and was just like... <laughs> anyway, Leonardo da Vinci is one of my favorite painters. So of course I had to buy Leonardo's notebooks, which is basically like a condensed and translated and whatever diversion of Leonardo's notebooks. It's so cool. It's so weird like reading it through it because he has such like interesting thoughts about like art and the world in general. And then also I got this really cool like a brief history of art. All this ancient Egyptian and then you get over here and it's like you got some Da Vinci and Barbara Venus or Baricelli, which is super cool. I love that guy. You got some Vermeer in there. You got some Goya. You got a bunch of screen Van Gogh sunflowers. You got Matisse and you got uh, Andy Warhol. And, oh, there's just Picasso. Okay. We also went to uh, New York City, or at least me and my mom did. My brothers and my dad had a hard time <laughs> getting there, so they 
just kind of gave up. So me and my mom went there and we went to the Metropolitan Museum of Art, which was also really cool. And we saw a Michelangelo sculpture and like, ah. So yeah, it was really cool. I did also get bitten by mosquitoes a lot. I hate mosquito food. Ah, uh, speaking of bugs. Okay, so what we ended up doing was to explain the situation, we flew from the west coast to the east coast. We went to the Hartford, Connecticut airport. We rented a RV to drive around and we stayed at these campsites that were called KOAs and you basically, you can park your RV and it's kind of just like a little campsite with a bunch of other people and they provide like showers and they have stores and all that kind of stuff. It's nice. It's, it was easier to just use the KOA showers because then we wouldn't have to worry about the water levels as much. But what, I'll tell you what we did have to worry about. Bugs. I didn't have a whole lot of problems with the showers at the KOA sites until our, the third one that we stayed at. I, I walked in to take the shower and it's like it's kind of like like a bathroom that you would find in your house. It's got like, you know, a toilet and a, and a shower and sink and all that. It's just like a little room. There are like three other rooms, two on my right and one on my left. I just kind of walk in with all my stuff, not really. I'm like gonna see like, oh, the last one was super amazing. The first one was all right. Uh, what's this one gonna be like? And I walk in and there's just all these bugs like flying around, which I'm kind of like, oh, it's fine. They just look like flies and whatever. So I'll get in the shower I start showering. And I'm almost all the way through, I just have to like, wash my face, and um, just see this, uh, this shadow creeping along on my shower curtain. It was huge, it was a giant spider, it was like this big, with its friggin' legs, and I was like, oh no! I like don't swear all that much just because I... I don't know, I just don't. But like, I was like screaming at bombs at like the top of my lungs so many times. I was like shrieking. I did not know what to do. It was on the far side of the curtains by like the shower head. So I just kind of, I like took the shower curtain. There was nobody else in the room obviously because it was just an isolated room. So I just shoved the shower curtain as far as it could away from me. And I was just like, no. Oh, no, 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 no. F no, and like, I had to freaking wash my face still, and I guess I could have done it at the sink, but it was warm in the shower, and the I had bad priorities. Well, I have to wash my face, so I put it all up in here, and I'm just like watching the place where the spider is, and just, oh, you dare, and like, and I have to close my eyes to wash the soap off my face, and so I'm just like, <laughs> as fast as I possibly can, I'm just like sh scraping all the stuff off my face and like I quickly pat down my eyes and I go back and I look and it's, it's still still in the curtains because I can't see it anywhere else. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna frick frack out of the shower. So I turn off the shower head, I get out of the shower, I'm still kind of just like quietly swearing to myself, just like on the inside, I'm just kind of... <laughs> <laughs> I just don't understand how much I don't like spiders. I can handle little tiny ones, but like bigger ones, or like ones that like appear in my bed when I'm sleeping, like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm naked and vulnerable in the shower, okay? I don't want to see no spiders near me when I shower, okay? No, it's not okay. I still have to like gather up all of my stuff and draw myself off, get in my clothes, and then like uh, wash my face one more time. And this whole time, to like, reduce the, like, adrenaline spike and the anxiety and fear in my soul, the fight or flight feelings here, I just start babbling to the spider. I just start talking to it, straight up. It's like going around as I'm like trying to dry myself off as quickly as possible and I'm just like, you little trash can, look what you did, you make me so scared. Look, I have to like get out of here. You just sneak up on me. That's not a good way to make friends. You try and surprise somebody when they're naked. Maybe if you're their friend, but I'm not your friend. So, ha what? What? Why? I think the people next to me could hear me. I think. I'm not entirely sure, but like, just imagine that. Like, you're just like chilling. You're like about to take a shower or taking a crap or something. 
and you just like hear next to you just some girl just suddenly like cussing out of nowhere like shrieking and then I, once it finally dies down suddenly she's just like ranting at what seems to be nothing because there sounds like there's nobody else talking to her and you're just kind of there just like wiping your butt like okay so and then I also had to like wash my face again so I had to you know close my eyes again to do that and the whole time I was just thinking of like the spider just crawling up my legs and I'm just, oh, yeah. like I immediately obviously like drying my face almost as fast as I can I'll look back over still I'm pretty sure it's still over there because I don't see it anywhere else like, mind you, I never saw this thing outside of the curtain. I just saw it on the other side of the curtain, creeping along, never saw it again. I finally dry around my eyes again, and I look over and, you know, I don't see it. And I'm just like, this is exactly, basically what I said, for the most part. Look at what you've done, Harold! You made me so paranoid about my life! I can't even close my eyes! I'm gonna go to sleep tonight, and I'm gonna have nightmares about you! This is what happens when you sneak up on people and you're a Spider-Man! You can't just do those kinds of things! People fear you! I fear you! This is not okay! I ended up calling him Harold, just on accident. The name just kind of came out when I was ranting at him, so his name's Harold. Finally, I was ready to go, and I just kind of- I opened the door, I had all my stuff with me, I take one last look inside this cursed bathroom, and I'm just like, goodbye, Harold. I hope you take my advice and make better life choices. And I shut the door. Yeah. This is- I don't know why it's such a stupid memory, but it's just like- It's like just one of those things. It just kinda happened and like, I just can't stop thinking about it. Why did I call that spider Harold? Why was that spider in the bathroom? Why did I not see it before? What was it doing before? Did it touch me and I didn't know? And like, there's just so much to think about. What happened to him? Did he take my advice to go on to a better life? Did somebody kill him? To be honest, I'm kind of hoping that's what happened. Sorry, but sorry, I don't, I don't like spiders, okay? That's my Harold story. Just one of many. We had a lot of good food. I had probably like seven million lobster rolls while we were there because like we don't, there's not an easy place to get them where I'm from and like they're so easy to find on the East Coast. Like every place serves them there. And it's just like, that's my life. Now you know my excuses and uh, how nerdy I am and Harold. <laughs> I had a super great fun time, but I am really glad to be back and be recording videos again because I really did miss it while I was on vacation. Like I did a whole like li mini like little Snapchat story thing um, about Harold. Uh, before I made this video, I did it while I was on vacation because I was like, you know, I might as well. Like, I miss YouTubing. This is kind of close. Yeah. So hopefully, uh, my schedule will chill and kind of get back to what it's supposed to be. Although, this upcoming semester is going to be really weird. And it's going to be, like, the schedule for it is just kind of like absolutely ridiculous right now and that between that and work it's gonna be it's gonna be hard but I, I really want to continue doing this because it's so much fun and I really been enjoying myself making these videos for you guys and we're coming up on the one year anniversary of the channel Woo! honestly I'm so hyped for it I need to find something fun to do I need to gather ideas do something crazy I don't know I'll find something to do and it'll be, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be lit, yo. Oh, hey, there's one other thing I wanted to show you guys. Wait, hang on. Oh, so I didn't get this on my trip, but it came while I was on my trip. Oh, the Imagine Dragons Evolve album, uh, final? Is that how you say? I was really scared at first, actually, because <laughs> the person who was checking our mail and taking care of our cat, she was like, if this package is open, and I was like, whoa. No! I thought somebody like stole all the stuff in it, but luckily that didn't happen, so that's good. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous thing. It's the freaking- it's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. Also, I'm going to go see Imagine Dragons at concert in October, so 
Oh, I'll probably make a video about that. I'll try and video like some of it, but like we can copyright for music and stuff. So we'll see. I'll do some probably. I really want to vlog that, so. We'll see how that goes. When I'm seeing them in October, I think it's like October 1st or 2nd or something like that. Something early in the month. And um, I'm super hyped for that. Like, this is gonna be the first concert I ever go to. I'm a baby. I am a concert babe. Babe? Baby? I, it's, um, I don't know. I, this is my first time being to concerts, what I'm trying to say. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And um, yeah. I'll see you guys and we'll get back to do videos a week, probably, soon. Also, my birthday's coming up too. Oh my gosh, there's so much to talk about. Ah! This vlog is gonna be so long. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm super excited. My birthday's on the 19th and I'm turning 19, so it's like golden birthday. What up? I'll probably do a video for that too. It's gonna be awesome. But please like, comment, subscribe. Please. Please. Anyway, take a cap. Bye-bye.